Almost anyone that teaches how to create an online business talks about creating an email list. In fact, they go as far as saying, if you're not creating an email list, you're not creating a business. In today's video, I am going to be showing you step by step how to create an email list from scratch step by step. Now, before we get started, let me show you what my opt-in page looks like. So here I have my 100% free course, Ultimate WordPress Mastery Course 2021. And then here is the description. So this course teaches you how to design professional looking websites with a WordPress and you can learn all my tips and techniques that I've learned over the years to help you design websites professionally. So basically, all they have to do here is to add their name, email address, username, password, and boom, they are signed up onto the course. So why am I showing you this? It's very important that when you try to build an email list, you have to give away something of value. Now, by the way, why are we doing this? We are doing this because we want to be able to create a relationship with people that are signing up on our mailing list by giving them something of value. In return, they might or hopefully they will buy products that we recommend to them and of course even sign up for other programs that we may have in the future. So that is why we build our mailing list. So creating a product first or offering a product that is of value is very, very important. Back in the day, ebooks were very popular, giving away an ebook, but now it just needs to be better than that, to be honest, because there are ebooks everywhere. So you need to create either a fantastic interview or an audio file. It also could be like a course. In this case, I'm giving away my WordPress mastery course. It also could be maybe some tool or something that can help um, someone get to a result or help someone achieve something. Okay, so that will be your lead magnet. So now that we've established this, let me show you now step by step how to build this and all the components, everything that is needed to build your mailing list. Okay, so over here on my site, the first thing we need to do is to create a list on our email autoresponder. So I'm going to come over here to my plugins and show you the plugin that I use for this, and it is called Fluent CRM. So Fluent CRM is very powerful. You can see it here. So all I have to do now is to uh, activate both the free one and the pro because the pro has all the features that we need to automate the whole process. Now, another service that you can use is uh, MailChimp, or you can use ConvertKit, um, Aweber, and so on. But I prefer Fluent CRM because it runs on my website and it has a ton of integrations out of the box. Okay, so now that I've activated Fluent CRM and... Um, so now that I've activated Fluent CRM, and by the way, I have a link to purchase Fluent CRM. And if you do use my affiliate link, you also get a bonus, which is my marketing automation course, which teaches you how to use Fluent CRM and how to automate your website. Okay. So now that this is activated, you're going to see an entry over here called Fluent CRM. So now I'm going to head over here to my dashboard. So right now, I don't have any contacts. This was just me testing this uh, earlier on. So what I'm going to do next is to head over here to contacts and then create a list. So my list here can be created by clicking here on uh, create list. And I need to give this a title. So um, I'm, going to, I'm going to call. So I'm going to call this free course. Hit confirm. OK, so you can see here my list has been created. So anyone that signs up on my landing page will be added to the free course list. That way, when I create my emails, I can really specify to send my emails to these specific people that signed up for my free course. Okay, so now that I've created this, the next step now is to create my landing page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So let's call this my free course. And for this, I'm going to use the DV Builder. All right, so let's start by building from scratch. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch. And we're going to start off here with a single column. So in here, we're going to add a text module. And then I'm going to add my title in here like that. We're going to center it. And then over here in the design, I'm going to go to my text and uh, make it all caps, perhaps. Make the text slightly bigger. And I'm going to change this to bold. Okay, so you want really your title to be visible, easy to read. And the message here needs to be very clear. Okay, so now that I have this, 
I'm going to add another module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And this is going to be a text module as well. Now I'm going to add my text here, my description text. Come over here to design text. And I am going to make it slightly bigger. There we go. I think 19 works good. And I'm also going to center this by coming over here. Okay, so that's look, that looks great. And then over here on sizing, I just want to make sure that this is not too big. So I'm going to set this to about, uh, let's go with 76%. And I'm going to make sure that it's centered. And then save. Now it's time to add our opt-in form. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. In fact, you know what? For the opt-in form, there's several ways you could do this. You could have a video and you could also have text only. So in this case, let's have a video. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and we are going to have two equal columns. And then on the left here, we're going to add a video. So this could be a video promotion talking about your offer. And let's just add an overlay image. So I'm going to come over here, click on this plus button, and we're going to add our overlay image here. So I'm going to go with this image here, and then I'm just going to customize this button by coming over here to design, play icon, and then I'm going to customize the size because right now it looks way too big. So let's go with 45. Okay, great. I'm going to save now. Over here is where we can add our opt-in form. So I'm going to search for my opt-in form. By default, it comes with this design. So we need to get rid of uh, all that design right there. So first things first, I'm going to come over here to my background and make it transparent. And then over here on the text, we are going to get rid of all the text. And then for our title, I'm just going to say enter email below. And then for the button, I'm just going to say download or subscribe. No, in fact, since this is a course, I'm going to say enroll. Excellent. So now I have all the elements that I need. The next step now is to customize this form and make it look really nice. So over here on the fields, I am going to remove my the last name and then just leave the first name and email address. And then over here now on the design, I'm going to click here on layout. And I just want to change things around here. So I want to say body on top, form on bottom, just like that. And then it's time now to customize my fields. So to do that, I'm going to click here on this brush tool. So this is going to take us straight to our fields. So what I'm looking for here are the borders. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to add a border here. So you can see as I'm increasing here, it's now showing my borders. But right now, my color is a bit too much here. So I'm going to go in and uh, add a gray. Okay, I think that works okay. And this button here needs some design to it. So I'm going to uh, activate use custom styles for button. And then I'm going to change my text color here to white. And then my background color to this orange. Because, because I really want this to stand out. And also for the border, I am going to use this orange. So pretty much I am happy with that. Now I can hit save. And we now have our email opt-in. So what we could also do here is if we wanted to add a border, Around this, we can always go in and then add our border. Let's head over here to design. And then we want to click here on border. And let's add our border width. And add our border color. There we go. Excellent. Right, so I'm going to save this now and just take a quick look. So as you can see here, this is looking really, really nice. It's clean. It's simple. The message is right on point because what you need to avoid on these landing pages is to add a lot of content on it. It just needs to have a message which is right on point and very clear and clear calls to action. Okay, so now that we've uh, designed this, the next step now is to connect our form because this is very, very important. So I'm going to come over here now, click on this gear icon to go into my email opt-in settings. So over here, you want to scroll all the way down to email account. And for our service provider here, this is where you choose your service provider. Now I have uh, Fluent CRM here, so I'm going to select it. And I am going to select my list. So next, I'm just going to click here on add. And I'm going to say free course, hit submit. Okay, now I can select my, um, so now I can select my list, which is right here. Excellent. So I can add this 
And then I can go ahead now and save. Okay, so this is looking great, but now we have this header and a footer here, and this is a bit of a distraction, to be honest. So ideally, we want to have a situation where this is just going to be a plain landing page. So how do we fix that? So first of all, let us exit the Visual Builder here, save and exit, make sure you save. So what we need to do next is to head over all the way down here to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. Next, you want to click on this plus button and target that specific page. So the page can be found here, specific pages. And here it is, my free course. And we're going to create a template. But what we're going to do now is to disable the header and the footer and then hit save changes. Now, when we come on this page and refresh, you notice now that our header and a footer is gone. So now our message is nice and easy and we can see this uh, in a beautiful way. Okay, now let's test and see if this is going to work. So I'm going to add my first name here and then I'm also going to add my email address and then I'm going to click on enroll now. Okay, so I can see here it says success. And then back over here now, if I go to Fluent CRM, you can see now on our contacts here, so you can see here I have Mac at funnels to income.com. So what I can do now, and this is the uh, feature that I really like about um, Fluent CRM. I can then come to automations here and create an automation for this opt-in. So let's create a brand new automation. So I'm going to click on this plus button and we are going to say, right, this automation is for the free course. Okay. And it's going to come from our CRM. And we want that when someone is applied to a list, it needs to uh, trigger our automation. So I'm going to say list applied, continue. And then here I can select my list and my list here is for the free course. And then I'm going to click on save settings. So everything that's going to happen here is based on when someone signs up and gets added onto that free list on the free course list. So I can then say, okay, you know what? Now let me send a custom email. So this custom email now could be an email which is uh, welcoming them. So you can give this a title and then you can give them an email subject and then say enroll here. Or in fact, you can say access the course. And then here is where you'd add your email body. So you can just add all your information and the link to uh, access the, the, the lessons of the course. So once you're done with that, you can hit save settings. And you can go ahead and add other automations. So here you can say maybe wait a day and perhaps you could uh, recommend them a product which will uh, make it easier for them to uh, work on the course or whatever it is that you may want to do. So as you can see, this is the whole system. This is how you automate the whole process. And this is how you build your mailing list. And then what you need to do from this moment onwards is to just create a lot of content and push people to that landing page. And this is how you grow your email list from scratch. All right, guys, let me know what you think about uh, this tutorial by leaving your comments in the video descriptions below. But please, this stage is very important. Creating a mailing list is very, very important. So follow these steps. And um, you don't really have to use Divi. You can also use other solutions. But the most important thing is to make sure you build a mailing list. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.